Hello dear friends, welcome back on the tutorial from the CADCAM in X. So uh, today we will go with the uh, CAM, so with the computer at the manufacturing. In this tutorial we will uh, see the how to make the the CAM operation with this uh, with this prismatic element. Here in advance I developed uh, the model for the, this operation and uh, you see the the yellow part is our the final product and here you see with the transparency you see the, the stock of the, our the workpiece the stock is in this case I the uh, I created in advance with the extrude operation here you see in the part navigator here the, I double click here you see the the, the stock is created by the the, by the extrusion operation is the height is the 35 millimeter along the z-axis and uh, I will show here the the total uh, just a moment this one here the 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 height of our the final product is the is the 30 millimeter so you see the gap between the stock and the let I show from the this side so here the gap between our the material final material to the stock is the here the five millimeter. So in this case we will learn how to obtain the such extruded stock and uh, how to uh, obtain the, this uh, face milling with the this five millimeters. So and we will see the how to obtain this uh, pockets. So using the floor and the wall operation in the uh, in the machining. So let's go on so in order to obtain our the machining operation so we have to several options the first option was uh, go to the application and here select the manufacturing and you will be directed to the manufacturing environment and there you see here the the manufacturing environment open it with the several uh, several functions for the beginning, as usual, that uh, as the previous exercise and previous tutorials, we have to define the uh, the material zero points and the material itself and the stocks itself. In order to do here, we have some options. Uh, for example, machine tool is uh, for the tool selection. Here, the for the program order. See, and here is the geometry. So, geometry view. We will go to the geometry view and. Uh, here you see the, the several options you have to specify the workpiece and you have to specify the your the machine zero point so for the beginning let's define the machine zero point and the double click to the this one and you see the the, the coordinate system is created here you can uh, define the, the this coordinate system and at any point uh, here it is its center you can define here you see at the corners at, at the any corner so you can define the the, the old machine zero point any point so let's keep it here in the middle and press ok you see uh, you can hide this one no uh, this is the workpiece zero point this is the machining zero point so it is the different so let's see from the side here so you see it is located in the in the surface of the our the uh, in the surface of the, our the workpiece so you can move it up until the the, the height of the, your the stock in order to do this double click again here to the machine zero point and uh, you see along the z let's put here the five millimeter and you see it will be uh, go up to the five millimeter and it will be will be the same layer uh, of the our the over stock so double click and okay so you see our the workpiece is here and the uh, work with zero point. So in the first lesson, we analyze what is the zero point of the, our the, uh, operation. Now let's go to the here the, and the work piece. So double click to the work piece. So in this case here uh, in the geometry, you have to specify the part. So uh, here select this icon and you have to specify the, your the part. The yellow part is our the work piece. So here uh, it is difficult to select uh, the workpiece. So in this case, right click your the mouse and here select the, uh, from the list. And in this case, select the, your the workpiece, which is this one. So press and okay. So here you see this uh, icon is the 
period and if you press this one you see that your workpiece is displayed so it is our workpiece now the next step is to specify the blank so uh, the you go to the this icon select the icon and here by the type uh, if you see uh, the previous lessons we have seen the the how to create the blank geometry using the boundary block now and in this case we will see the how to create the, the blank geometry using the geometry uh, so let's go to the geom select the geometry type and uh, here right click again and select from the list and in this case select the, this one so you see blank geometry is selected and press ok the same way the icon is the created here the display icon see you can see our the blank geometry which is the uh, which is the created in the advanced in the modeling environment so just press ok now we define it our the blank geometry and the part so it is the okay here also you can specify the your the material of the your the workpiece in this case by default it's a carbon steel and uh, by clicking here this icon you see there is the several options of the your the material with the you can copper aluminium steel stainless steel alloy steel carbon steel and so on and uh, based on your the material of the workpiece you can specify the, any material and just press ok in this case i will uh, just keep it as a carbon steel uh, by default and just uh, just press ok so the first step is to perform it so we define it our the zero workpiece of the zero point and our the material and the overstock now is to define our the tool since the first operation is the facing operation that we have to remove the five millimeters from the surface of our the workpiece so we will create the face mill for the operation so in order to do this just uh, click here the create the tool and here uh, in the tool subtype we don't have any face milling so uh, in this case we will go here the in the, this icon that is uh, called the retrieve tool from the library so we will select our tool from the library so click here and open here the milling and select here the face milling so face mill so double click here and uh, here you can uh, write any specification uh, just, uh, for the limit specification for the diameter of the, our the face mill and uh, you can uh, go to the ok and it will be shown your the your the tool but in this case just uh, you can hear the just count and match just uh, press this one and you see the only the four available the tools it's the face mill is available in the library and if you press ok you see here that you will be faced that's the four tools the face mill that's the, this one so with the diameter 100 43 60 and 64 and uh, this is the all the four available uh, face mills in the, our the cases so in this case that's uh, i will select uh, this one and uh, it depends on you how which one you will select so i will select uh, the lower diameter so just press you can hear the uh, show its display so see the tool is to display it here the face uh, face milling tool and just press ok so and just cancel here and if you go here the uh, machine tool view you see the tool is created here our tool and uh, we can change it is the name here by default it is located it's uh, called like this but right click it uh, here and uh, rename it we can uh, rename it like the face mail and you can specify that it is diameter like for this way and just press enter so uh, it is to be the more efficient just i call it like this now we created our the tool we created our the uh, settings for the, our the workpiece and coordinate system now let's create our the operation so in order to do this uh, go to the, the create operation and uh, here uh, we have select uh, we have here the in the type uh, let's keep the mill planner so and uh, here uh, we will select here the face milling with the boundary so we will use the face milling operation so select here the face milling 
in the location, in the location, in the, in the location in the program, you have to select here the program. So it is the location of the, 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 the program. In the tool, uh, you can select here. If you open the tool, you will select here the, our, the, this tool, which is the created in advance, so face mill. In the geometry, you have to select uh, here the workpiece. So it means that uh, in the workpiece, uh, we already defined our the, the blank geometry and our the workpiece geometry. In the method, in the method, you can define any method as you want. For example, you can make direct finishing operation, roughing, and semi finish operation, and so on. Here, just uh, uh, in this case, I will select directly finishing operation. So just in the here. You can define the, the name of your the program by default. It is called face milling. So you can keep it like this, or you can write any name for your the preference. So and press OK. As you uh, press the OK, this, uh, you will direct it to the, this uh, environment. So you see so in this case, you have to specify the some cutting areas in the face milling. And uh, here in the first row in the geometry, you see the workpiece is the already selected, which we already selected in our the setting of our the face milling. That's why here you see the specified part is already automatically is the selected by the program because here the workpiece is the selected. So you see the if I press the this display, so workpiece is the already uh, already did selected by uh, by by the comp by the by the software. So now uh, the next, the most important in the case of the face milling. So you see here is the face milling. So uh, most important is you have to specify the face boundary. So here the you see the face boundary is not 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 yet selected. So just click here the face boundary icon, and here uh, there is several options to select the faces to be the machine as well. Faces course by point, but most useful way in this case the face so let's keep it the face and here you have to select the face boundary to be the machine in this case at this way so we can right click here select the, from the list and uh, select this face this is the lower face to be the machine so we will select uh, this one not uh, this upper one but we have to select the lower which is the remaining Face. so select this one so you see here the face is the selected with the boundary so uh, rectangle or boundary and just here you see the list of the face and press ok so in this case you see here is the activated you can see our the face boundary so you see the boundary is created so now uh next step is to, we can keep the other the, this one is uh, not selected the important one is that this one and this one is selected so for us for the face milling is that this one is enough now we will go to tool section in the tool section it is the already the selected the tool which we create in advance with the face milling is the diameter for three because we selected it in the setting of the, our the operation already but uh, if it is not selected in the setting, then here you can create uh, your tool by yourself directly here in the in the this program. So you create a tool, and you will direct the same menu which we done the, in the creating of the tool. You can create the tool, or you can uh, uh, select it from the library here. The select here, and the same options you can select the, any tool which you needed but in this case i will select the cancel since uh, we already uh, created our tool or here uh, you can uh, edit your the tool which you created in advance since our here the you can uh, the this one is the, the the diameters of our tool and so on we can uh, here the uh, edit our the tool which we created uh, this one so this is the edit tool now we can close this one and there's the tool axis. So tool axis by default here, the normal to the face, but uh, in this case, let's uh, change tool axis that is uh, along the z-axis. So it will be more useful in this case. So let's uh, keep this one now, close this one. 
And here the method of the machining that is the we define it, it as the uh, the finishing operation. But here you can change to the roughing, semi finish, and so on. Let's keep it finished. And here, uh, here, if you create uh, the this way, if you select this one, you see here the 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 stalks which will be remained after the, the finishing operation so it is a zero 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 so this is the this operation so we can this just uh, just to check this this one also and here this is the cut pattern there is the several options of the cut pattern so the follow part follow periphery mix the profile zigzag and so on uh, my advice uh, for the facing operation it is the more useful to use the zigzag we will see the why it's useful or when the, we will see the other options let's for the beginning that make it that as a zigzag as the pattern and here that step over that step over is the two overlap between the step over so it is uh, in the case of you can make it constant and tool the tool percentage and so on let's keep it tool percentage and it means that is tool percentage of the flow uh, step over between the tools is 75 percentage so it is the little bit high uh, in a more convenient way to make it 40 degrees of the two overlap between the step over and here the blank distance in our the cases if you remember the blank distance uh, by default it's three but in our the cases is the blank distance is the five since uh, our the material is a 40 millimeter and uh, this one is 35 so the gap is the five millimeter so the, you have to write here the five millimeter so this five represents the blank distance so i change it to the five in my cases so here the depth per cut so it is the depth per cut for the every this uh, layer so let's uh, make for the beginning it's one and we will see now uh, we can uh, generate our the tool pass so in order to see the our the result so and we can change we can make some changes later so let's uh, go here the generate and press to the generate <laughs> So you uh, see here the tool pass is generated by the clicking the generate button, and you see the our the tool pass in the zigzag form, and it is the removing the upper surface, which is the blank distance is the five millimeters. We can see here the from the this side you see the here the the five is the, this layer. And uh, each layer is the one millimeter, so one, two, three, and four, and five. So five layers. So this is the the tool pass is generated like this. And uh, here, here are the several the colors for the tool pass. Then we will uh, later discuss the, all the these the tool passes step, step by step. And then uh, this is the zigzag form. For example, uh, you see in the zigzag form uh, the every pass uh, that will be removed. Uh, the, so, for example, if you make the change to the cut button in the zig form, for example, and uh, you write to select the, the generate. In this case, you see, yeah, uh, it will be the remove the the part in uh, just the one direction. For example, you can make the follow part and select the generate again. In this case, you see the tool pass is the, in the form of the follow part and it is a little different. So the, in the most cases for the face milling, the tool pass like the zigzag is the more efficient. So you select this one again to go to the, the this one. So uh, this is the five, uh, the, so if you change the here, for example, two, and uh, generate it here. Uh, let's see from the side. And you see the layer is to change it. So because the, this layer is the two millimeter, so it is the layer is the uh, every uh, every the cut layer is the two millimeter. So uh, if you make it one, 
So here we have the layers of three and if you make here the one and then make it generate, the layer becomes to five. So every layer one millimeter. So we can uh, change these values like this. Now, in order to simulate it, go to the here, the verify. And here the three dynamic. And uh, we can make it here, the, the change the speed of the animation and just play it. You see this animation is started simulation. It is the removing the outer surface. Every layer is the one millimeter. It's the sort layer and the fourth layer. And this is the final fifth layer. So five millimeter or stock is to remove every layer. The depth of the layer is the one millimeter. So this is the, the first option and uh, here you can make the several analysis. For example, the, the cutting parameters. So uh, you can make the cutting parameter, go to the, here, the cutting parameters. And here you can make the cutting parameters as the clean cut or conventional cut. So the clean cut is the, the motion of the, your, the, the tool is the, along the, the, along the motion. So here there is the, the motion of your tool is the negative to the feed rate. So you can define it like the different options. Also here the we can make here, let's uh, go here the again, press okay and see the tool pass. You see here the the step over here, step over is, is the rectangle. You can make the step over as the circular. In this case, go to the here, the cutting parameter. And here the corner, select the corner, and here the select the round, and here select the opacity, and select OK, and just generate it. And you see in this case, let me show here the tool path, this one, and you see the step over, the changing of the, the tool, direction is in this case is the round become the rounded also you see here the two is the the higher overlap along this the side of the, our the workpiece you can also change this parameter in the case of the, the here the, again the cutting parameter go to the cutting parameters and here uh, here you see the two overhang is the 100 percent you can make it for example 50 percent to decrease in the double and uh, press OK, and again the generate, and you see the tool overhang becomes is lower. So in this case, you will uh, save the time of the machining. So this is the several options to like this. You can make some optimizations like this. So go here the again, and here you can define the stock. In this case, is zero. You can the make some stocks and so on, that strategy, and just press OK. Now, let's see some known cutting parameters. Uh, for the beginning, let's discuss the feed rates and speed, go to the here, and you can define the feed rates and speed of your the cutting operation. Let's say you can hear the right, the, the speed, spindle speed in RPM, for example, 1000 and uh, click here the, this one and just you can calculate this one and you will define the the feed per to these parameters automatically and just press OK. Now let's define the tool pass in this case here. You can go to the, the option and uh, edit, go here the edit display and here the this one and you see here this is the several colors for the tool pass. The red line represents for the rapid motion. This is the this motion in the rapid motion is the G00 motion in the air. And the blue is the approach here. The you see here the approach. And uh, this uh, orange represent here the engagement movement of your the tool to the engagement with the workpiece. So you see here in this side, it starts from the this side. And uh, this is the uh, first cut here. The you see the first cut and the, the cut is the same almost. This is the all the this color is represents the cutting operation. 
And this green is the which I mentioned before is the step over here. They hear the step over, we change it to the, 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 the rounded. So it is a step over the changing position from the one side to the another side of the, the workpiece. So here is the, the retract. Here it is the retract. You see here the here here you see it is the retract. This means that it is the, the, the retracting from the workpiece and so on. So it is the departure. It's the same here. The clicking the this uh, color. You can change the the color of the the, the movement. So here for example we can change here like this and press OK. So the color is to change it, but uh, we have to regenerate our the motion. So here we see the the this one, red one, this one, and this one, and uh, this one is the non-cutting movements. So this one and this one is the cutting movements. Is the basically the so it's the cutting movement. So press OK, OK again. So generate it. In this case, you see this color. Is to change it, which we change it here. It's the this one. So uh, only that this one is the cutting movements, and the other is the non-cutting parameters, non-cutting movements of, the, of our operation. Let's see again here. To go to the option. Okay, the, the display here, the pass display, and you see the departure. We change it here. It's the departure. So it will be retracted from the surface and go to the up departure and go here again to the zero position and the here is the blue is the approach is the this orange is the uh, the engagement with the with the workpiece and the starts to machining operation and green is the step over this one so like this you can define the your the tool pass press ok again press ok and the, let's go to the verify and the step by step. Let's see that is this all the operations. For the beginning, let me hear the and display my the tool pass. So uh, here tool pass. Let's see the all. So uh, in order to see the all the passes and here uh, not the play, but they go to the, the step. So in this case, step by step, we will see the all the tool pass. So. This one is the, you see, the, uh, this blue is the moving here. So it is the mood here, the blue, and uh, this orange, let I step, is the, this one orange, you see, is the engagement, engagement. So it is engaged with the, our the workpiece. So it is the removing the layer one, and uh, I will go to the here, the step. So you see, it is the move to the, this end. So uh, remove the layer. And now let's make it step over. So go to the here the again. So it is a step over. So and so step over. So it is removed the second layer. So again step over the blue line. So and I mean the green this one so step over. And so remove like this. I will make like this. So. It is the removing material with the step over. So this is just first layer, one millimeter layer. Every time I am pressing step by step. Now we hope it is the in this case, you see, let me see. Here. It is the the retracting, so it will go up in again here. Uh, sorry, I pressed uh, this one. So this is the what is the steps like this. So five layer will be obtained like this. I will press play again. So continue to removing the material from the surface. So we remove the material here. So just press OK. In this case, let me check here again. Here maybe we made some uh, material remained, so we have to make it again. So let's start it here, and here the let's the close this one and play it here. You see here the material is removing. 
uh, we have to think about it. So, so material is removed in the facing operation. We have to change some parameters here in order to do this. So here. Go to the cutting parameters and make here the tool overhang. Let's make it bigger. 70. Press OK. Now uh, we can have to make it uh, generate again. So go to the verify again and play to see the our the result. In a way, the material is the, here the remaining. We'll see. Uh, maybe we'll change the, the the tool overhang again, or we will make another changes. So go here the the tool overhang. The here the go to the, the cutting parameters and make it here the let's make it eighty percent. And make here the corners. The, let's make it uh, here. Okay. Strategy. Here the let's make it here the this one. So uh, let's make it this one. Slide the shape, and uh, let's press OK. And just generate it again. Now it's, it's OK. You see. You can see the or the tool pass so reply in this case you see here the the old pass is the created so you see all the material will be removed in this case uh, the important parameter is to here also go to the cutting parameter so it is the you have to make the this one simple shape so minimum box so in this case we can uh, hear the also the again the decrease the this value so to the 70 or 6, let's make it 60 and we can see the other result. So generate it. Now it's okay so with the 60. So uh, you can verify your the tool pass. So and just play it. This is the facing operation first layer. The second layer, you say the material is removed in this case. So it is the last layer of the facing operation. So here you can just press OK and uh, press OK. So and uh, here you see in our the program, the here you see here in the program, the face milling operation is created here. In the here in the the machine tool here the our the tool which is the diameter is 43 is the obtained. The, this operation you see it is showing here and here we see the our the the workpiece is made in the face mill so this is our the heart navigator in this case it's the machining navigator now we can uh, generate here here the selected this one and we can generate uh, our the g code for this operation in order to do this you see here the select the face milling go here the post processor and here you will select your the post processor to so the machine. In this case, let's select the milling machine with the through axis. And here you have to select the unit measurement unit. In this case, we will use the metric. So just press OK and press OK. You see, in this case, when the screen, the, the G code for this operation is the created. This is the code for the controlling this operation for the face milling, which we uh, exactly simulated in our the practice here with the some codes. So uh, you can read the, all the codes here. The, it is starting with the nine, and that where there is the codes tool selection and the spindle cell spindle the speed uh, and so on. So with the coordinate X, Y, and Z coordinate. So you can save the, this 
file and upload to the, your the machine in order to control your the CNC milling machines and so on. That's I will put here. So this is the face milling operation. So in the next tutorial, we will see how to obtain the, these pockets using the pocket uh, wall and wall and wall and floor operation milling operation.